Hey guys, so I am back again for another video and this is the video that I told you in my grocery haul produce thing that I was going to share with you guys or it's one of them. Um, I am here today to can my black raspberry jam. So that's what I want to do. I don't have a lot of time. It's like later afternoon right now. I actually have Kai here with me. He's eating cheese and raspberries. I'm trying to keep him happy. So I want to do this jam really quick but also share the recipe with you guys and y'all can see how it turns out. A couple of things before I start. Excuse the dishes in the background. That's not what I was going to say but real life happens. Um, so yeah, it's almost 5 o'clock. I'm also working on supper. I have pizza dough rising for stromboli tonight. But um, if you didn't catch my last grocery haul video, I found a bunch of produce for a great price at a local discount store. So I'm using store-bought black raspberries, but they are organic. I found them two for four dollars, so two dollars a thing, and I have eight containers. Yes. So I'm going to be making like, I think one batch according to this recipe. Um, I'm not sure how many it makes because I've never made it before, but like I said, I'll share it with you guys. So what you'll need, you'll need uh, black raspberries, uh, you will need shore gel, which I have, I have to get out of the fridge or the pantry. You will need sugar and then like a large kettle. So I'm going to get out my biggest kettle because if you caught my last canning strawberry jam video, you saw that I did not get out my biggest kettle and you saw how that turned out so we're not gonna do that again I'm gonna get the biggest kettle we're not spilling stuff all over the stove I'm gonna get to work with these and show you guys what I'm doing oh one more thing I am gonna be putting them in pint jars I know that's not optimal I know you want jelly jars I don't have jelly jars and I was gonna try to use old um, baby food jars that my one friend gave me but those don't seal and I didn't realize that when I did my strawberry jam so I ended up having to freeze it in those which is fine um, but I said in the video where I showed you all my produce, if you didn't catch it, go back and watch it. I'll try to link it for you guys. Um, but I said in that video that I am trying to can as many things as possible because I'm going to be needing freezer space for a cow that we're going to be purchasing. Also, I really like the idea of canned goods being a staple if you don't have power or electricity or anything like that. So I'm trying to can everything that I can as far as fruits and vegetable wise to save room in my freezer for meat. So. Those are the couple precursor things. I'm gonna jump right into this and get going with this raspberry jam. So to get started with the process, I washed my berries and then measured them out into a bowl and I ended up nixing the whole bowl idea. I was gonna put them in here and kind of like use like a hand masher to try to mash them, but obviously blackberries are more uh, firm and stuff than some other berries. So I nixed that idea and pulled out my Tupperware chopper, I think that's what it's called. Um, but basically it's like a hand chopper with like a pull string and this worked fabulous. I would totally recommend this. I know there's multiple kinds of hand choppers, but yeah, if you have any sort, I would definitely recommend this. It breaks up your berries super well. And so I just ended up dumping them into there and then chopping them up um, till they were pretty much broken down and then pouring them in my kettle from there. Once I had them in my kettle, I put in my shore gel and this recipe calls for one full pack and then one tablespoon. And I made sure that my tablespoon was well rounded, like a full even heaping tablespoon to make sure I had plenty in there to thicken my jam.
Okay, so here is my all my blackberries and my shore gel and it is getting to a boil if you can hear it and see it and I'm getting ready to add in my sugar and then I think we have to wait until it boils again so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and just a tip this is what my mother-in-law told me is that um, if you're worried about your jam not getting thick enough put in extra sugar because that will help so tip for you guys if you're a first timer um, you can always add extra sugar if you're worried about it not thickening right for you once my berries had gotten nice and hot I added in my sugar and gave that a good stir little tip pop in tip here whatever um, this is pretty much boiling but it needs to come to a full rolling boil and royal boil <laughs> sorry boil for one minute so it's getting there um, and like I said I'm canning these in larger jars than what I would want to um, because I don't have small ones at the moment and I want it to be canned not frozen so what just comes to a rolling boil which is like now I'm gonna set the timer for one minute, let it boil for one minute, take it off, and probably let it sit for about a minute, and then ladle it into jars. It will seal on its own. But I'm gonna get the flats for these jars. Um, I've heard some people say they don't reuse their flats, so my mother-in-law does, and uh, this is what she does. It always worked for me as well, so I'm just gonna share it with you guys. Um, if you can't find flats or you wanna try to reuse yours, you can, we just, or my mother-in-law rather, sorry, uh, she just sticks the flats in warm water in like a container and just lets them sit to kind of moisten the seal and then obviously with jelly you can have a tendency to get sugar and anything like on the rim so one second sorry about that with things that are sticky or anything really you can have a tendency to get little grains here on the rim make sure you wipe all your rims off before you put the flats on put your flats on that we're soaking in water screw your rings on and they will seal with the jam at least you don't have to reboil them or anything like that so woo. Sorry, I'm getting hit. Anyways, um, that's what I'm going to do as soon as this timer rings and I can uh, ladle them into jars. So while I got ready to ladle my jam into jars, I had filled the jars with hot water and let them sit just to let the glass warm up a little bit before I put this crazy hot jam in there. And as you can see, I got out way too many jars, but I wanted to make sure I had enough and didn't have to run for jars when I was in the process of ladling out the jam. Once all my jars were full, I took a dishcloth and wiped down the rim to make sure that there was no sugar or any sticky residue on there that would prevent my jars from sealing. And then I had my flats sitting in a little bit of warm water and I just topped each of the jar with a flat and then I screwed my rings on and let them sit to seal. all done and seriously so pretty oh my goodness like if I could just use canned goods for decor I totally would because they're so gorgeous um but anyways a couple things excuse hi future drop 
over here. Anyways, a uh, couple things. So it did not make as much as I was hoping for. Um, granted, it made five pints, and five pints is actually quite a bit, but like I had said, I have bigger containers. Um, so if I had smaller containers, it would have made, like, it would have looked like it was a lot more. Uh, but it's still a good amount, and it's going to last us for a long time, especially combined with the strawberry jam that I did last week. So, I don't know how it's going to thicken up. I will have to let you guys know in a future video. Um, just because I obviously don't have it quite finished yet. Um, but yeah, overall, it was super easy. It turned out super good. Large kettle is the trick, guys, because you don't want it to overflow, especially once it gets to that, like, rolling, foaming boil. Um, but anyways, yeah, it was super easy. Uh, raspberry jam obviously has, like, the seeds and stuff in, so if you're not a big fan of that, then jelly is obviously the way for you to go. Um, but I don't care, and I asked Nelson, he said he actually prefers jam to jelly. So that's why we're doing this, less work for me, and it turned out really, really good, or at least so far, it was really, really simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave the recipe down below for you guys. You guys can get some raspberries and try it out for yourself. I hope you enjoy it if you do, and if you have any questions or whatever, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe it gave you some to try this summer or even right now if you have a local store near you that is having sale on produce like mine was definitely give this a try and store up some things for later on okay guys I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>